Hello, my loving Pisces. I am K-Star Moon Life After. And welcome to my channel, guys. To my water sign, Pisces, okay? Um, I said once again, welcome to my channel. For those of you who have subscribed to my channel and newly subscribed, I really appreciate it for all the comments and love that you have given me and for um, helping my channel grow. Um, Pisces, we're going to see what message the divine has for you. Okay, I'm going to try to make this a little short. Um, we're going to see what message the divine has for you. And let me just put out my disclaimer. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. If, it's, if it resonates, stick and stay. Listen what the divine has for you, okay? Please, by under no means, try to make this resonate with you. If it doesn't, okay? I'm quite sure there are tarot readers that are online that could possibly or more than likely have your message, okay? So, Pisces, we're going to continue to shuffle the deck until Spirit tells me to stop, okay? We'll shuffle the deck three more times, and then we're going to move forward. I hope all of you had a pleasant, happy Valentine's Day, either with your love or with the love of thyself, you know? Reflecting, there's no, there's no, um... And I can't speak, y'all. There's no, nothing wrong with being alone, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. And Pisces, I spirit just want me to tell you, no, you're just not alone in the world. Things are going to change for the better, okay? I'm going through this Mercury retrograde. I believe it's starting February the 17th. Um, and like I have told all the other signs too, you know, like whatever it is that you're going to decide to touch. I feel like everyone, I feel like all the Zodiacs though have the ability with this, with this retrograde. I feel like everyone have the ability to launch off and to be successful with whatever it is that they're setting out to do. Um, so whatever it is that you feel or has been nugging at your spirit, from all this time and you never give an energy to it, start working on that now. You're going to regret it at the end of the year that you didn't. I just, I'm, I'm feeling that for everyone. Don't get distracted if people start to move away. Doing this retrograde while you're doing you, you don't owe anyone an explanation, okay? So let's get this popping. Holy Spirit, what message do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, and rising. What message do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, and rising. The chariot. This is the card of cancer. So, Pisces, what are you moving to? Moving, moving, moving. Huh. You got the five of cups here. Why do I get the sense, like, I feel like, you know, the Five of Cups has a lot to do with regret. Um, and then you got the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse. The Five of Cups have a lot to do with regret. Regretting on something that you didn't do. A lot of emotional I'm, I'm picking up Pisces, either you are on the pathway of, this is really weird. I feel like you're on the pathway of, you're moving towards, I'm hearing you're moving towards possibly accountability. Or someone is moving towards accountability when it comes down to you. And you have this nine of pentacles here in reverse. Hmm. I'm getting the sense that someone, I don't even feel this is your energy. Someone is emotionally feeling regretful. This is not your energy. 
This individual here, this chariot here, is moving towards this five of cups here of regret with this nine of pentacles here in reverse. Someone is feeling very unsuccessful without you, Pisces. This is what this is. Someone is now starting to move towards the fact of, I am accountable. As, and this is not you, Pisces, nine of pentacles in reverse. This is this individual, your other. I am accountable. This is what they're saying. I regret. I am re accountable for not... Um, what's the word I want to use? Appreciating that person. Because, you know, you with the five of cups, you have the two of cups here still here. These were the cups, Pisces. I feel like you were giving someone. And I feel like you just got tired of talking. This person emotionally, I feel like this the chariot is is them emotionally moving. Not physically moving, but emotionally moving to the space of being regret that they lost you and now they don't feel like they're they, 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 you know now they're not you know they know that they're not successful without you hmm holy spirit could you please clarify this is someone from the past of course because now you're not there holy spirit could you please clarify Oh my God, it's just like so much. Wait a minute, hold on. I can't take that. Holy Spirit, could you please clarify the chariot card? Could be dealing with the cancer, um, other an, another earth sign. Yeah, this person, or even, um, did I say cancer? Or earth sign, or other water sign? This person is in total, like, isolation mode. This person really wants to give you an apology and they want to come to you. They want to sit and communicate with you. They want to talk to you. This person just really feels... It, it's like they... Okay, so is this, Mer <laughs> is this Mercury retrograde? Because it's like all of a sudden a light bulb just kicked off in this person's head and they're saying, what the fuck did I do? Oh, did y'all see my hair? Yeah, it's messed up. That, that's exactly what... That's what's going on here. This, this is your person's energy. This person feels very unsuccessful without you. Hmm. Holy Spirit, could you please clarify the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising? here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Five of Cups is here. You got the Four of Cups here in reverse. You basically just wanted to start over. You left this. I don't feel like you walked out on, they walked out on you, you walked out on them. Yeah, with the Tarot card here. You made the change. You decided that you just did not want to deal with this bullshit anymore. You got tired of the conflict. Okay, this is the Five of Wands here in reverse. And you, and, and you slept on this. You meditated on this whole situation. More than likely a third-party situation. You meditated on this whole situation. You decided to make a move. Okay? Now this person is having a what-the-fuck moment. I mean, like, where did they... It, it, it's like as if, though, they notice one day, like, I, I picture... I feel them, like, walking around in a room. I feel like the place where y'all stay... I actually feel like some of you actually just packed up and left and left that person there. And it's just like all of a sudden this person walked in a room and they felt the warmth of your touch. When I say the warmth of your touch, I mean like your presence. I mean like even the way you decorated because this individual did not even change um, your, your, your touch in there. Things that you have in this home. This is what I'm seeing. And for some reason, all of a sudden this person was like, they realized that you're really gone. Well, I'm hearing by Gloria Stefan, because it's too late, baby, now it's too late. You got the Ace of Pentacles. See, I'm not trying to laugh, but you know, I just think it's really messed up when people want to try to come back to you and you being such a good person to a person. And now, and it takes for you to leave for them to figure out that you are the one. And then it makes you even question the fact. And that's why I tell people to be careful with this. Why are they really taking you back? Because why does it take my absence 
for you to realize and to appreciate me or to appreciate you, Pisces. Why does it take that? All they shit is missing in their life. I, I'm, I'm just, that just it irritates the hell out of me. Okay. It's your absence that, that's, they say absence make the heart go fonder. The death card here in reverse. So whatever you're do, dealing with Pisces, I feel like you're going to have a new, a new beginning. Okay, so with this Ace of Pentacles here and the death card here in reverse, it could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is something that is not going to change. Whatever you're getting ready to walk into, Pisces, this is going to be for the better. You're going to really love it. This could be either with jobs, a new career, or even with a new love. You're going to stumble on something very th 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 that is pleasing to your soul. And you're not going to waver from it. This is not... This, this, amongst your person's bullshit here, this is you. Okay? So... Let them struggle where the hell they at. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell y'all straight up. I, I'm not an advocate of going back to people who treat you wrong. I just don't. In the Knight of Pentacles, and here, here you got the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, so yes, Pisces, whatever it is that you're gonna do, you're gonna love it. You're gonna take your time with it. But this all gonna work out in your favor. This person here, I don't like this energy. I may have been sound abrasive, but I don't like it. I, I, you know, and I feel like, I just feel like this person, once they see you, because see, they feel so unsuccessful without you. Like, like, why the hell you, the neediness. I'm getting irritated. So like I said here, Pisces, I feel like this is you. Just really taking time and embracing everything that you, you know, are putting forth. And then I also feel like this could possibly be your other too, trying to slowly but surely come in and offer you a little pin pinnacle. Okay? But you got the ace already. And you love where you are, Pisces. If you love where you are and when this person try to come back in, please, by all means, don't waver off that path. That's just how I feel. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, y'all, but that person energy just got me. I, I, I hate that. I freaking hate that. Okay, let me get it together. We want to see what other message the spirit has for us, Pisces. Let's see what message spirit has for us, Pisces. Other messages for us. Check the deck three more times. I'm, I, I'll be honest with y'all, y'all person energy just drained the hell out of me. So I could imagine you being around that person's presence. I'm sorry. The throat chakra, speak. Don't hold back, speak. Say what is on your mind concerning that situation. Okay? Dedicated effort. Shine. Spread your wings and observe. Exactly. I mean, listen. Believe and succeed is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so listen here, Pisces. Throat chakra, this could possibly mean, you know, you need to speak your truth. Some of you all could be motivational speakers. Some of you all could be in the music. Whatever it is, you need your voice. To make this dedicated effort so that you can shine and do whatever it is that you can. It's time for you to soar and spread your wings and observe what's going on around you and believe and manifest. Believe and manifest that this is going to happen 
for you, Pisces. And it will. Look at the water there. Okay? Believe it. Tell yourself. No matter what anybody tell you, whatever comes in your mind, train yourself to think only positive thoughts. Troubles don't last for long. But please, but by all means, please be mindful of who you this is the third reading I did for Cancer. I did for Leo, and now I'm and, and Spirit keeps telling me to say this. Be careful who you let in. This is a new decade. We're about to go through a retrograde. Be careful. Observe. No, seriously. Be careful with this. Don't, don't get off your track. Okay? Whatever it is that you... Um, Whatever it is that you are setting out to do, and when, like I said in the beginning, that has been tugging at your spirit, please go after it. Okay? I pull these two cards. I make decisions from a place of intuition and power. You are a water sign, so you have that. There is also a solution of the highest good. So whatever, even that's what this believe and succeed come through. Some of you all may not see how you're going to do this but believe and it does and it will happen this is why your throat chakra is here okay it, it says ask and you shall receive ask stay in prayer you shall receive okay I'll pull one more card here my presence is my power know this this is why you shine pisces this is why you shine Okay, I feel I feel good for my, for my the, my last three readings that I had. Pisces, Cancer, and Leo, I feel very good about you, but you're gonna have to be careful on who you welcome in. Friends, tribe, lovers, be careful. And ask yourself why they coming back. What's the realty? Because they see you shine. And they also observing. They're observing you spreading your wings. You're looking at all the efforts that you are putting through and how you are succeeding. Now they're going to come in with the throat shock of work and try to tell you shit to throw you off your game. Don't fall for that. Keep moving you. Because guess what? In between when you're working hard, you're going to find your you're gonna find your true self, your true person. Okay? You're going to find the real deal. All right? So with that being said, I am K-Star Moon Life After. Like, share, comment down below. Hit the notification bell. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. And I will see you guys next time.